So Mike's been practicing Ninja Gaiden a lot lately, and he wants to show me him beating the game. So let's go. All right. As we start this, uh, we're not going to have any cuts in this episode, so no mm. editing involved here, just because uh, I want you to see the full thing from beginning to end. Mm. So. I think we did that once with Super C. Um, that was the only time we did How well did we do? Because with two players, I, it's uh, tough. Super Super C is, is tough. Yeah. Uh, we we did beat it, but I don't think we beat it together. I think you ended up beating the game, but mm. I, I think I made it to the last stage, but then I died uh, or okay. something. Yeah, with two players, it's really hard. Um, in, in Super C, I know I used to kind of do kind of sort of what you're doing, where like I'd practice one game for a while. I haven't had any time in like years, but I, I was planning on doing a Super C video uh, because I I think I could, if I practiced enough, I may be able to beat it uh, without dying once. Right, deathless. I've never actually done it, but I've beaten each level before without dying, and I think my longest streak I made it to level five without dying once. Right. So I may give another shot. Um, but um, Ninja Gaiden, uh, I remember th this game was one of the hardest games I ever played. So I think it's really impressive that, you know, you can beat it. Right. Because um, something I learned about this game, which is really important, um, is that after I did the nerd episode, I realized one of the reasons why I had a hard time with it um, was because if you die on the final boss, and when I say final boss, I mean like, you know, there's three forms, right? Mm-hmm. So you got to beat three different uh, forms of the boss. But um, in between those bosses, on your first run, it will refill your health, apparently. Like, it refills your health, right? Like, when you... Yes. Like, yeah. The first time you get there, yeah, it'll but, refill your health, mm -hmm. yeah. But if you die on the boss once, and then you get to the boss a second time, it stops refilling your health. Right. Which is very unusual. I've never heard of a game that does that. I mean, not to mention it, it also punishes sends you. you. Yeah, so basically it punishes you more for not being perfect. Yeah, it's like if you... Yeah. It, you oh, do you suck? Well, then yeah. fuck you. We're going to make <laughs> yeah. it even harder. Yeah. So so I, th I feel like if I were to go back, my advice would be if you don't beat the boss the first time, just hit reset and start over. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Not to mention it sends you back to 6-1, right? Ha yeah. However, the only thing about it is, though, you you need to learn how to how to fight those um, those last two forms. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I w until you know yeah. how to beat them, I wouldn't recommend. I would recommend yeah. keep doing it until you know how to do it. But and, once and you who, know how to beat would, it. Yeah, and who would know their first time? It's like, it's just brutal, you know, this game. Yeah. Um, well, this is meant, you know, to be played a lot. Mm -hmm. Over and over and over and over, which I've been yeah. playing over and over and over. But that's just weird. It's like, okay, refill your health only on the first try, and then every other try, stop doing it. Like, that's just, like, no game does that. That's 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 where I think this game is really flawed, and, and, and uh, it's like, that's just a weird decision, you know? Uh, but the, the difficulty itself, it's like, okay, well, it's like like fine you know be, be difficult so you got to practice over and over again because that's what you know a lot of the best games are about you know yeah. it's about practice but right but to do something you know shitty like that um is just weird um i also remember uh really trying too because i didn't know that uh my my first time but when i was doing the the nerd episode uh which was my first time actually trying to beat the game okay it was it was part of the plot because the ninja was supposed to train me and then I beat the game. I want to show you something sure. right here. Uh, this is this is called a damage boost. Mm -hmm. So you can get up there quickly. People who like try to play the game fast do, do that. So instead of having to go all the way around on that ladder, you just jump and hit the bat. So you can kind of like glitch yourself up to the top. Oh, okay. So I've, been, I've been learning little little tricks like that. Yeah, it's like you got to outsmart the game like, yeah. with the glitches and stuff. Like the respawning enemies yeah. and all that. And I'm not trying to do a speed run yeah. here. It's just I've learned little tricks here and there. Oh, not to mention the power-ups. Like, you don't want to lose them. So when you die, it's kind of like... That's what I want to talk to you about. Yeah. Which I get, which I guess later on that becomes a thing. Uh, it's already a thing. I haven't, mm, I haven't even yeah. been doing it so like, far. Like, you want to keep that weapon, like, for the rest of the game, right? Um, yeah, you do. I haven't even been doing that. So, it, mm. so... 
basically, if you want to beat this game like well, um, you want to get the. There's a weapon called the spin slash. I haven't even gotten it yet, but but I will show it to you. Um, where you can just kill a lot of these bosses um, quickly. But uh, I've gotten to the point with the game where I beat the game normally with the spin slash without mm -hmm. even dying at all. Um, but then I went back and I was like, all right, well, is there a way I can make it even harder than that? And mm -hmm. I was like, well, wh how about trying to beat the game without dying mm. but not using the spin slash at all? Oh, okay. So I did that. Okay. And then, um, mm. yeah, so I, basically I did no sub weapons to where you can, oh, okay. there's no stars, there's no fire. What are you trying no to do fire. right now again? Um, right now, I'm just trying to beat the game. Like, how, oh, however, like no matter how. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just, I just want to show you that just yeah. beating the game. This is just, you know, we haven't done an episode of James and Mike Mondays on Ninja Gaiden, and I just wanted to play. Yeah, the game that's and, surprising. And talk yeah. about it. Yeah. So, so the the plot of the episode was, I remember the ninja was supposed to train me, and I beat the game, mm -hmm. but I honestly could not beat it, and I had to give up. Yeah. Uh, that's how brutal it was, and and like I said, if I knew about the health meter thing, I would just reset and start again, but. Um, but usually I push myself, well, I did push myself, but usually I'm able to eventually beat it. Cause I remember street fighter 2010 was hard. Right. Uh, ghosts and goblins was hard. Mm -hmm. Um, and most of the time, if I really want to beat it for a nerd episode, I'd be, Oh, Majora's mask. Jeez. Right. I, I, that almost killed me. Like, that, that game broke my soul. Right. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, so I, I, I think I could definitely get you to beat this game yeah. now. Um, mm -hmm. so there's, there's a lot of things I, I could tell yeah. you like, well, the bottom line is you're a ninja master. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, now I'm a ninja master. You're a okay. ninja master. Yeah, yeah I, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. But really, it's just a matter of uh, knowing knowing what to use mm -hmm. and 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 where. Um, yeah. Now, forget about like doing crazy ass kind kind of challenges like beating the game with no sub weapons because mm -hmm. if you haven't beaten the game at all, you don't. That's not what you want to do. You want to get mm -hmm. the spin slash and basically. Um, get through the harder sections of the game with the spin mm. slash. But the thing about it is, you got to the end of the game. You you got to that final guy. Mm. Um, uh -huh. So I don't really even have to give you any tips for the rest of the game. I can, mm. like as far as like quicker ways to kill bosses and and, yeah. and certain ways to get through certain hard parts. Um, and, and I'm going to mention something a little bit later. There is one thing that you did say in the nerd video about mm. um, items, uh, mm. but I'll, we'll talk about that la like later. Okay. Uh, but I want to show you something here. So with this guy, mm -hmm. um, a, an easy way to kill this guy if you ever have a, a hard mm. time. So the weapon I have there is the um, the fire. Um, so this guy is that the one that goes in a circle, or is that the that's the fire wheel? Okay. This one is like just the fire, like the fire that shoots up into the sky. Okay. So. Um, Basically, let's say that uh, this let's say this game right here is this enemy. So that this, is a rare game. You happen right. to be holding like one of the rarest yeah. games yeah, in this, this room. <laughs> this is this is Rekka. Uh, so He's borrowing it from me. Yeah. Um, so basically, let's say that this is the boss. You mm. want to hit the bottom of the hitbox with the fire. If you hit mm. the front of it, you'll, oh. you'll still hurt him. Oh, it's like it does more damage. It does a lot more damage if you hit the bottom of the hitbox. Ah, hmm. So you're a so when I do this, I'm gonna be aiming for the for the bottom of that hitbox. Oh, ah. it's fucking! I don't have. I wasn't collecting Nimpo. So I don't, oh, you have no ammo. I have oh, no ammo. All right, because okay. I wasn't paying attention. But I got the idea at least. Yeah. yeah. So so if you don't though, here let's do it this way though. So let's say that you don't. Okay. So I'm gonna show you how you do it if you if you don't have that weapon. So I just follow this guy back and forth, and then you sl then you slash at these things when they come out. Like watch it'll come out and then hit it and then I like jump through it and then you sort of just keep going back, back and forth, mm -hmm. trying to hit him like this and that's how you do it if if you're trying to do it with uh mm -hmm. with no weapons but you know if it's your first first time playing I definitely recommend mm -hmm. trying to get that fire weapon yeah. to kill this guy. It is good to know that like how to do it with the regular weapon because yeah. Yeah. Um, if you want to be a r true ninja master, mm. you wanted to beat this game without any of the magic or the weapons oh, or whatever. Yeah. Like, which could be really hard. Yeah. yeah, I was I was able to do it. Um, because that's what I tried to do. I tried first. I tried mm. to do it with the weapons, which I did, and then I tried to do it with the weapons in Deathless, which I did that, and then I tried to do it with with no weapons, and Deathless, and then I then I did that. Um, so it it took forever. Mm -hmm. But all right, so this level, this is a hard kill right there. there it's been so long since I played this, like probably yeah. like ten years now, I think, where I, I don't remember a lot of these stages. Like this one, I, I don't recall. Yeah, um, yeah. There, there's all kinds of little uh, tricks and things. I'm going to show you something right here. 
you sort of like damage boost across mm. this guy. You hit that side of him, and then mm. and then you land on that side. Okay. So that because yeah. um, that's because I don't have the spin mm. slash right there. Now, if I had the spin slash, mm. I would just spin slash into him, and he he'd be dead. Okay. But I don't I don't have it right now. Uh huh. So, um, I just haven't grabbed it yet. Yeah. But I am gonna grab it when I when I get it because this is not me trying to do. It. So when I did that, when I beat the game, uh, deathless with mm -hmm. with no sub weapons, that took me like. Uh, a couple days to do it so it's not going to happen right now you know it was mm -hmm. very very difficult to do that um so when i get when i get the opportunity to grab the spin slash i'm gonna i'm gonna be grabbing it just so we can see the end of the game um and then you jump here boop and i love i love this cutscene still i looks like cutscenes and story in this oh, game oh yeah are great. oh this ninja guide had some of the, the best cutscenes uh back then like yeah. I remember seeing this this type of stuff as a kid. It was like wow, like it's like a movie. If they ever want to make a video game they, movie, yeah, this Ninja Guy in the movie, one, yeah. come on, yeah. Um, it was the World's a Power book. <laughs> I, you know, I gotta do. I I should do more of those videos where I read the books. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, I think games nowadays went too far with the cutscenes. But this game has just the perfect amount where it's like you see. Just like a little bit of, of cinematics, and mm -hmm. then it goes right back to the gameplay. Yeah, a lot of times I get, I'll get like bored with the cutscenes. I'm like, come on, come on. But this is this is one game that I've always felt like it's per they did the perfect job mm -hmm. with the cutscenes in this game. It's like just absolutely perfect. Probably the best cutscenes on, yeah. on the NES or the Ninja Gaiden games. On oh, the music's great. Like this stage right here, I think was the montage in the nerd episode. This is my favorite music in the game. Yeah. Right here. Uh, there's health right here that you can grab. So I, I've memorized like lots of these like lanterns. So w one of the main things also about the game is all these lanterns, you want to memorize where the good items are. Like I knew that there was health there and mm -hmm. I'm going to show you right up ahead here that right here, that's spin slash. Okay. And that's the best weapon in the mm -hmm. game. If you have that, you're, you're pretty, you're pretty golden. Okay. And watch this. I know this. That guy's there. Like, mm -hmm. you just yeah like through playing it and stuff, playing, yeah. you just you know these games are half memorization, but they're also half uh, execution and being able to do it. Mm -hmm. So it is both. Mm -hmm. Oh, another thing I want to show you. Um, I don't know if you knew this, but so uh, when when I used to jump up walls, I would tap the button to jump up the walls. Mm -hmm. But did you know that you only have to hold the button down? Um, Here, watch. I'll, I'll show you this. Okay. If I if you do this, I just hold the button down, and you can go. Oh, up. really? It, it makes jumping up the wall like way easier. I actually didn't know that. I was not aware because I I used to go like this and jump and jump and jump like uh -huh. that. Yeah, me know? too. Yeah, that, that's what I would have done just now. Yeah, that's that's crazy. However, there is yeah. something tricky about it that you gotta remember. So mm. if you, if you jump up the wall like this, when you get to there mm. and you land there, at that point you oh, gotta start go. jumping normally again because oh, okay, yeah, now yeah. you're like back on solid ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that's good. That's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now I gotta stop fucking around. So now I'm gonna now I'll use the spin slash. Yeah. Oh no, I still don't have the spin slash. I gotta start collecting nimpo. Mm -hmm. Here, any nimpo? There's there's some. So red is ten nimpo and blue is five. Oh uh, okay. So I never knew the name of it was nimpo. Yeah, <laughs> see that's five. Mm. Um, jump off from here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the music was always so tense. It used to get me uh, like nervous. I don't think I I made it this far as a kid, but they play this in the, I think on the first boss, or somewhere. This guy right here, and then there's this. I use the spin slash there. Now I'm just gonna wait until that guy like backs up real far so he doesn't <laughs> knock me out. Okay. Top ten games that have a Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees, yeah. <laughs> And uh, okay, there's this, there's this. One of the things that, an easy way to kill this guy is after I run over here, I just slash there to get rid of him. Cause mm. this part can be a little difficult and then wait and jump and slash. And then, oh, do I have any? I hope, okay, I have a slash, watch this. This is why spin slash is cool if I can do it. Check this out. I like, oh. I like that boss. <laughs> well, that's quick. So you can do that to a lot of the bosses. The first boss, the second boss, you can do that too. I wasn't, we were talking, I wasn't really paying attention, mm -hmm. but you can do that to a bunch of the earlier bosses. 
At least I know the quickest way you can beat a boss now. Yeah, spin slash is yeah. the way. You can't do it to all of them. That guy that was jumping back and forth that I was using the fire on, mm -hmm. you can't use spin slash on him. Okay. So it's only certain bosses. Yeah. But actually, the thing is, though, m most of them you can use it on. Okay. The first form of the final boss you can use it on, but oh, not the okay. second and mm -hmm. and third. And I'm gonna, I wanna, when we get to that uh, second form of the final boss, I'm gonna try to show you how I beat him. There is a really advanced way to beat him, but mm. it's extremely hard to do. Oh, okay. But I'll show you how I beat him. Bat. Bird. Those like purple guys hanging on the walls are creepy. I know. There's like so much aliens. Cr creepy shit in this game. Yeah. Okay, there's gonna be a bat coming up. Gotta wait for that. And boop, boop. there's okay, so right there to the left, that candle has health. I don't need it right now because I'm full, mm -hmm. but Okay. Little thing. Uh and this part, jump from here and jump again and you're through. Alright. Without having to worry about that guy all right now now the game this is where the game starts getting harder but i'll try to uh throw out some tips and things here oh i'm having memories now coming yeah. back <laughs> I'm, i think i spent a lot of time on this level so okay here's something important mm -hmm. remember i was talking about you got to remember candles that mm -hmm. candle right there is very important because that has spin slash okay so you got to get that okay if you don't have that you're gonna be in trouble yeah so and then when you die you lose your weapon and then if 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 you're in a level that doesn't have it you're just not going to get it again there's another huge like, thing i gotta tell you in a second okay oh i did that that was good mm -hmm. um when i get the opportunity i'll, I'll tell you okay. um actually i might be able to tell you right here um yep. okay so i know that in that candle in front of me is um nimpo it's it's more so if i get that i'll go up to 10. i have five right now i'll, I'll have 10. it's a, it's a blue Nimpo. So here's the thing. If you, if I were to use the spin slash right now to kill that guy or, or to spin slash into that candle, I would lose five, right? Mm -hmm. Because when you jump in the air and attack, you, you, you use five each time you use the spin slash, mm -hmm. right? Right. That makes sense. So that means that if that thing is worth five mm -hmm. and I spin slash into it, well then I'm only, I'm still going to have five because I used one to get it. Mm -hmm. But there's a there's a trick that you can do, and this is a huge thing to be able to beat this game. Uh, this is probably my biggest tip for anybody if you're gonna want to beat Ninja Gaiden for the first time. Number one, get the spin slash. Number two, uh, so if when you jump in the air, you jump with hitting A. When you jump in the air, if you hit down and B, that cancels out the spin slash to where you can just use your sword again. So, so I'll try to do it. Let's see if oh, I can do okay. it. So, like that. See, I still have five Nimpo. Because okay. I because I canceled and I used my sword instead of using the spin slash okay. to attack. Now I grabbed it. Now I have ten. So that way, now I have spin slash plus I'm collecting the nimpo. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh, okay. Because because with a split spin sl slash, if you jump normally and and hit the B button, it uses it. It would use it, and then you would, you would use five of your nimpo. So then uh... so then you're wasting the nimpo, but. As, as I'm going now, I can now use my sword mm -hmm. and the spin slash. So how oh, you do okay. that is down and big when you jump mm -hmm. in the air. Oh, okay. So if you learn, if you learn that, mm -hmm. you're going to have a way easier time playing wow. this game. That, that's wow, one of the main okay. things. Huh. Yeah. Now, if you get another weapon, does that take away the spin slash? Yes. Okay, so you still want to watch out. Then. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Whoa! That was dangerous. Yeah. And there's another five. So I got 15 right now. Oh, good. Kill this guy, and let's get rid of him. Now, I'm going to show you something funny. Okay. Going back to the Ninja Turtle nerd episode right here. Okay. Okay, so... You're going to walk over that? You can just walk <laughs> over that, yeah. <laughs> How'd you find that out? Because, like, I, why would you try that? Accidentally, <laughs> as I... Accidentally, I, yeah. I ran over it, and I was like, oh, wait a second, because I, I would wow. always jump over it to try mm. to kill that guy. Yeah, yeah. And then a lot of times it would knock me back, but when I... Mm. One time I accidentally walked over it, and I was like, oh, shit, you can just walk <laughs> over it, and I was like, Durr. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I mean, I mean who would think to walk over that you right. would just jump it's just know, something but... i found out yeah on, that, on accident now mm. here's another part this is a very famous part where the bird comes out and knocks you back you talk uh, about this okay. in the nerd video okay um that's good that you're kind of fresh on the episode because i watched it again oh did you that's yeah. cool yeah so so you're really fresh on it i i haven't seen it in a long time so i forget so i want to show you something else mm. um so normally w when most people would go naturally you would try to make it 
down to the bottom by jumping back and forth and get down to where that candle is down there. Yeah. So there's a better way to do this. Okay. By actually jumping through the top of the screen. You can get through the top? You can get through the mm. top. And I, I, right. I'm going to try to do I might die doing this, but oh, I'm, okay. I'm going right. to try to show it to you. So I jump up here. And then what you do is you try to jump up again a little bit higher. Okay. And then the bird's going to come. He's going to hit you. And right after the bird hits you, you try to jump again and get down there. Okay. It's gonna, it's gonna seem weird. It's gonna <laughs> seem right. weird, but I'm gonna try to do it. Like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. So if you do that, I always do it that way now. Cause usually when I wow. jump back and forth, I'll end up getting killed. Mm. If you learn how to do that, it's almost like a fail safe way of getting through wow. that. So when the post hit invincibility thing can make you go through those rocks. Yes, I think. Uh I guess that's a way to explain it. I'm not sure if that's exactly mm. correct, but something yeah. like Anyway, regardless, you can get through those rocks by doing that. All right, so I'm doing pretty good. I haven't died yet. Mm -hmm. I might, though, but that's okay. It's not about that right now. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to see my really good playthrough, we'll put a link in mm -hmm. the description or something. All right, uh, hardest part about this game are the... Oh! You saved yourself. <laughs> good. Oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, I felt like problem. I was reliving the nerd episode there. Yeah, that that was dangerous. But these guys right here are the worst fucking guys in the game. Oh yeah. Um, I mean these enemies. This isn't the hardest part of the game, but these the enemies come part, later. Yeah. Oh, if if I I see it, I'll point it out yeah. when you get to the part, the part that I died on the most. I think I know what you're. Yeah, I know, you I know what part. You probably do. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how you get mm. through that. Okay. Uh, that part right there, if you walk to the very edge of that and just slash, mm -hmm. you'll kill that dude. Then here, oh, okay. the bat comes, and then jump immediately, mm -hmm. and you jump over that. This is just a lot of shit that comes yeah. from memorization. And then you turn around right here, and then the bird comes, and ooh, ooh. I messed it up. But usually you turn around and just slash the bird there. Now this part right here, uh, this is one of the spots when I usually, if I'm going to die, it's probably going to be here. Mm -hmm. So wish me luck here. Okay. Okay, I did it. Fortunately. Anything <laughs> here? That you don't want. Don't basically never get that item. That item fucking sucks. Okay. Don't ever get stars in this game. In my opinion. Okay. Yeah, I just... That guy looks like he should be in, like... Like Contra or something. Yeah, he's right out of Contra. Yeah. G.I. Joe or something like that. This part, you gotta turn around really quick. Mm -mm -mm. Get on the ladder. All right, good. That's good. You know, I never thought about it so much, but thematically, this game is all over the place. <laughs> it's got like alien kind of characters. You're in it's New York like... City in the beginning. Yeah, it's like, it's weird. It's like, like what the hell is that supposed to be? That's bloody moth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this guy, you kind of want to get a little bit in front of him. Just stay in front mm -hmm. of him far enough. You don't want to ever touch his body and mm -hmm. just hit him as fast as you can. If I had spin slash, you can actually just spin slash into this guy. Oh, um, really? Okay. Yeah, I should have grabbed the thing, but mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, in fact, right before here, where that guy was, that white guy was like throwing out that mm -hmm. knife thing, there's a uh, Nimpo right there. If you grab that, you just hit Bloody Moth once and he dies. But again, I'm glad that I showed that because if you don't have um, the spin slash, just Basically, tap the button as fast as you can and try not to get too close to him. And he's actually very easy. Um, all right, so next part. All right, hit him. And boom, boom, jump, jump. Ah, I messed that up. I kill him, then I wait. Yeah, like those karate kick guys, they look like they're from Double Dragon. And there's like guys with the <laughs> boxing gloves that look like they the boxers from, yeah yeah in fact double dragon 2 i think and, and that you know obviously looks like fry the 13th or like you know some kind of horror game and those little hunchback looking guys look like they're from castlevania there's those dogs that run by or those cats or whatever they are the hound dudes. that looks like castlevania that those guys look like double dragon right there um I mean, I don't know. They, oh, what they came do first. actually. That's true. They do look like Double Dragon. Yeah, and I don't know what came first, but but it, it's funny how this one is sort of like a combination of everything Nintendo. Yeah. The bats, of course. Well, every game has bats, so that's a bad example. But this is this is what I think is the hardest part of the game right here. Okay. But you, the part you think is is after this. Mm -hmm. I, I I know yeah, I know what you're gonna up, think. Yeah. yeah. This is up there though. Yeah. 
and that's yeah, good. Yeah, I'm remembering Boom. this. Oh, cool. That, okay. That, and then that. Mm. Okay, see, I was able to get through that only because of Spin Slash. Now, oh, I have yeah. done it without Spin Slash. Yeah, it is okay. possible, mm -hmm. but it's a hundred times harder. Mm. And I think that that's, for me, that's literally, the, you just saw the hardest part of the game. I'm mm. lucky I got through it without dying. Oh, There's okay. another Nimpo right here. So you want to use the down cancel thing on that to grab it. Um, I'm actually going to use the Nim the Nimpo again, or the Spin Slash, and I'm going to grab this. This should be a 10, so I should end up with 10 after doing this. Like that. Oh, nice. Now here's a trick to get by this part. What I do, again, going back to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like when you're down in the sewer, if you kind of like jump out and like trigger the screen out, oh. same, same kind of thing here. I trigger that bat out, yeah. and then I go... Um, bam, bam, and here's Jason Voorhees <laughs> again. <laughs> if I can get through him, there he is. Okay, this is super dangerous. Now, this is why I say you have to memorize mm -hmm. the candles because this item, this right here, if you grab this, you're gonna lose your spin slash because that's a star, oh, okay. and that's gonna fuck you. Yeah. And when I saw the nerd video and I mm -hmm. rewatched it, and I think your problem mm -hmm. is number one, um, uh, either you weren't grabbing the spin slash or you grabbed the spin slash and you made it to this point mm -hmm. and then you did this you did you you did that and you got that uh, you okay. don't want that okay if you have that yeah if you have that i understand why you said in the nerd video what mm -hmm. you said because what you're like is like when you get to the part that you consider the hardest mm -hmm. even if you have the weapon you're screwed but the thing is you didn't have the right weapon mm -hmm. you need yeah. you need to have the spin slash mm -hmm. so and, yeah. and the part is coming up right here. I'll show you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can feel, I can I can just sense that it's yeah. coming up. It's, it's this. And there's going to be a bat here. And I think you like fake them out. Like you yes. got to trigger them and then walk away and then come back. There, There is that. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also the fact that if you have the spin slash, you're just going to spin slash through all this shit. So okay. I'm, I'm going to try to do it. Yeah, and that like was that. the part. Yeah, but that that made it way easier for sure. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> but if you didn't have the spin slash, you could fake that guy out by like yeah. walking away and then coming back. I could show but you that too. I think. Yeah. Am I am I right? Um. Yes. You, if you get far enough, the little like ghost looking guy, mm -hmm. you can get it to where he doesn't appear. Um. In fact, if you're doing a playthrough of the entire game where you're trying to. Um, only use the sword mm -hmm. and no items. There's actually a, a few sections where you can do cool shit like that and, mm -hmm. and knock those ghost guys down. And there's like other parts to do that kind of thing. Oh, good. Now this next part, uh, I have this part memorized too. So you jump over this bird mm -hmm. and you hit him, you hit him, duck. Oh no, I fucked it up. Well, usually I would duck and then hit him. All right, I messed it up a little bit. All right, I'm almost, I'm almost dead. So that's not good. <laughs> And clunk, we're here. <sighs> All right, we're getting near the end of the game. Uh, Eyeballs in the wall. Yes. All right, here's another trick I, I do. Um, I run out to here, and what I'm doing here is I'm back. That Jason Voorhees that's above me, Yeah. it's making him kind of walk back a little bit so that when I jump up there, I'll have more room to kind of walk oh, around. Oh, okay, he, like, follows you a little. He, he, like, backs up a bit. Yeah. And then there's a red one there. And then I got 25 Nimpo. Here's another trick. If you die here mm -hmm. and you want to make it to the end and have a spin slash, in the, the, that bottom right candle is, a, is another spin slash. So if you die here, you will start on this part right here. And that's where, that's the, that is the last spin slash in the entire game is that bottom candle. So that's also important if you, if you happen to die. Like I said, memorizing candles, big, big thing. All right, let's see if I can do this. Here we go. And this is more memorization. This. Do. Wait for them. And do. <gasps> oh, there's that. All right, now I'm going to try to do it without. Let's see if I can do it without the spin slash. So there you go, I died. That's too bad, but whatever. There's that. him and go duck hit him good all right here's a trick with this guy um i'll just i'll just show you what you do mm -hmm. jump up like this and then 
like that. Mm. And then what you want to do is if you if you walk back and go up, he might reappear. Okay. So you don't want to walk back. You actually want to jump up like right on that and then mm. jump up to the top and then that that way that guy won't respawn. Oh, okay. That's a that's an easy way to kill him. There's mm. a uh, thing right there. You want to grab that. Oh. Show oh. and there we go. Okay. Uh, now I'm not gonna have the spin slash when I get to the end of the game, but that's fine. I kind of like showing not having it better, to be honest with you. It's yeah, because like, what if you get there and you don't have it? Then exactly, like, yeah. exactly, and and a lot of times you won't, you know. So mm -hmm. th there's the last um, health of the game, mm -hmm. and then oh, okay, there's so that. this is the, we're at the end of the game. Oh, okay, six dash three is the end of the game. Uh, when I go on the, the well, or it basically turns into six dash four. Yeah, in, okay. in a second it will. Mm. So I reckon I just despawn that guy. You just wait, and he backs up off the side of the screen. Mm -hmm. I kill this guy right here, and then literally at this point they're gonna refill your health. Mm -hmm. So all you do here, if you regardless if you have the spin slash mm -hmm. or you don't, you literally just walk to the right here. Don't do anything else. Just take the hits. Oh, okay. Just take the hits. Oh. Mm. And here you go. It's the end of the game, so you just jump up, slash this, and then, now I gotta get over here. Get as high up as you can on the wall. Wait for this enemy, the guy on the bottom, the dude, to hit the wall. Now that he's hit, now that he's standing against the wall, then go. When you're ready. Again, same thing. Wait for him to hit the wall. Cause that's how, with all this stuff going all over the place. Yeah. You just got to be patient. Wait for him to touch the wall. Then you go. Jump back up here. It's a lot easier to hit on that side. Okay, that's form one. Now, form two is where you got stuck. And that's what's coming mm, up next. Okay. I'm going to show you what I do. Uh, it's essentially... Yeah. It's just a pattern that you got to get down. Mm -hmm. And I'll try to explain how to how to do it, if I can do it. So it, it is it is difficult, though. So mm -hmm. I walk over here. But having your health refilled definitely helps. <laughs> yeah. So, Okay. So you kind of walk back and forth on the bottom, mm -hmm. and when he okay when he's more on that side, I walk to that side. Hang on a second. All right, now now it's gonna work. So he's gonna be on the left side, and then I'm gonna be running from the right to the left on the bottom. So I'm running, then I jump up, I hit him once. That's it. I got one hit in, like that. Hit once, and I gotta get into that pattern again before I do it. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, mm. hold up. And now I'm gonna do it. run left, jump up, and hit him. If that makes sense. And run left, jump up, and hit him. So the only time I'm running up to hit him is when he's on that left side and I'm running, and I'm running to the left, like right now. I, eh, no, that's not quite right, hang on. Now, this time it's gonna be. That's how I do it. And again, I'm gonna do it here, I think. That's a little close. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense. I mean, it looks self-explanatory enough. It's yeah. just kind of getting in that pattern and just never be jumping around up on top of these, um, on top of those things. You don't want to. The only time you want to be on top of those is when you're gonna jump up to hit them. Okay. Most of the time, you want to be on the bottom and just mm -hmm. running, running left and right to avoid, oh, okay. to avoid these things. Mm -hmm. And if you take a couple hits, that's it's all right. So I'm only gonna go up there when he's, when the timing is right. And mm, that's not quite right either. This time it's gonna be right. There we go. And this time it's gonna be right. There we go. At least this is how I do it. Like this is my method, but I'm sure, you know, there's there's better ways. Shit, I, I messed it up there. And if you get into something like this, that's not good. This is a long boss fight. Damn it. Two hits left. One. All right, one more hit. Ah, here we go. All right, there's that. Right. So that's what I do. That's the best way I can explain yeah. it. And so. And then health yeah. refills. Health health refill. And uh, so this is a part of the game when the, when the head of this thing falls off, um, 
you have to take a hit on that on on that first thing. Apparently, there is a way that if you tap the button like in a weird way that you can can, can kill a thing. But um, okay. so they're basically what I'm trying to say is on this final final form, there is a um, you're going to take at least one hit. Okay. So you know, I don't think I've ever. Oh yeah. What happens in the cutscene? I, I, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen it. Yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm killing the top of the head. Then you kill the t this tail. It's like 10 hits or something like that for this tail. Now, the tough thing about this is is these things coming out of the top. You're really just watching them. These, you know, those little fucking things coming back and forth. And you just walk back and forth. Like this. And all I'm looking at, I just, I'm kind of like peripheral visioning the alien on the side. Mm -hmm. And there, there you go, that's yeah. the end of the game. So yeah, cool. you're just avoiding those things jumping out the sides. But I want to show you. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the game. I'm sorry that I cut oh, that. Let's, we'll watch this. Yeah, let's watch this. Yeah, yeah. We'll watch this. Yeah. So his dad's got to die at the end. That's a bummer. It's not a happy story. A bittersweet, I guess. Because mm. he does, uh, you know, he win in the end. It's a bittersweet game. It's kind of just like you know, that's what it is. It's like some of these games, they just gotta like kick you in shape and just. Yeah, but but he does die. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It, is, it is pretty sad overall. Yeah. So I I did do. I would like to... games were brutal. I mean, that's what they had to you know. Yeah, uh, I want to. I want to. Oh, show oh you of course. Yep. This wait the classic. Uh, like the castle crumbles. Boom. That's where Bloody Moth lived on the side. Oh, of that. that that was the side. Yeah. yeah. I always loved that as a kid. When you saw the castle, I'd be like, oh, I know where I know where that part oh, of the castle <laughs> is. I can recognize it. It's like Castlevania. Yeah, it's a, there's just a lot of Castlevania elements in this. I think it's just that like all those NES games were kind of like boiled out of the same, you know, 80s molten lava. <laughs> this game kind of does have that sort of 80s feel though to it. Yeah. Like I could imagine if this was an 80s movie, like the going mm -hmm. to New York City and then, yeah. like, I could, you know. But, um... And those like shots are like super widescreen. Yeah, see, this is interesting because I've never seen yeah. this. What's the payment you've already received? She's right in front of me. Come on, actually oh. kiss. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> I guess they're standing on a piece of the mountain from the castle that mm -hmm. came out or something. That awesome ending. There yeah. you go. That's Ninja yeah. Gaiden on right. NES, and I cool. hope one day we can do Ninja Gaiden two and three on this someday. We should. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All thanks right. for watching.